Apple's iMessage is the worst messaging app on any mobile platform. Don't go anywhere and find out exactly what's going on in my head. In 2011, iMessages, formerly known as just Messages, launched at the Worldwide Developers Conference from Apple. There, they gave us this new, rich, media-enhanced thing called iMessage to where when we were hitting our little buttons and we were texting people, we could see if they were texting us back. And it just, it felt so connected and it was amazing. And then it eventually made its way over to the MacBook. It got everywhere in iMessage has deeply integrated itself within American culture. Since the announcement of iMessage, Apple and iMessage have taken the hearts and users across the country and even the globe. People love their iMessage, they wanna have it, they love to use it, they love to chat with their friends on it, but is it really a good messaging app? I wanna do a little bit more of a deeper dive into this messaging platform and share some thoughts I've been having about it with you guys. And I've been using iMessage nonstop ever since the launch of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. That's, this device has essentially been, and I'm gonna say it, my daily driver ever since it launched. And I've absolutely loved this device. And I've loved the integration of iMessages that it's brought back into my life. First thing I wanna talk about is blue bubbles versus green bubbles. Now you're thinking to yourself, what do these bubbles mean? What does it matter? Well, when we have green bubbles, when I am a green bubble, that means you are a non iMessage user or you don't have it turned on and you're just texting me through your iPhone, which if you have an iPhone, why would you do that? Because iMessage works really well on the Apple phone. If I am a blue bubble, that means that we are both on iMessage together. And there's this love, there's this desire, there's this, this observance of, hey buddy, you're an iMessage. I got so many people in my life after I made the switch back over to Apple as my main daily phone. They're like, hey, I see you're back on the iPhone. How do they know this? Because of my text messages, because of my iMessages. And people are able to look at this and they're able to see it and they're like, yeah, you're in the club too, right? Let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the features this thing has. At the bottom of this, You've got your photos, you've got apps, you've got Apple Pay, you can share your activity, you can search images, you have your emojis, stickers, Apple Music. The amount of little things that they've built into the iMessage is endless. It's feature rich, it's enhanced, it's designed for a good, smooth user experience. I get that. Not disputing it. Not trying to take your iMessage away from you not telling you to switch to Android. And if that's what you're hearing right now, go down into the comments and just tell me why you refuse to switch to Android. Cause I just, I, I want you to leave a comment and I'll reply. So you have everything synced up. I have my phone. If you have multiple phones, you can have the same phone number accepting iMessages on several devices. Even if there's no SIM card in it, you can have your Mac, your MacBook Pro, whatever computing device you have that's Apple-esque. Your iPads can have iMessages on it. Your, your Apple Watch can have iMessages. It's iMessage everywhere. But what happens if you leave iMessage? What happens if you leave Apple or you turn it off or you don't have access to it or something happens? And now we enter into the cons, right? Apple is designed to keep you in the ecosystem. They're not designed to let you leave the ecosystem and be like, hey, I'm gonna go play in that playground and if I don't like it, I'm gonna come back. No, Apple's like, hey, if you wanna go in that playground and you wanna take my toys, you can't. They have to stay here. And what are your toys? They're your text messages. That's what they are. I want a history of my text messages. I want a backup of my text messages. They're my messages, not yours, Apple. You can't have them, but they don't want you to take them. And I've seen this question over and over whenever there's a new iPhone watch. Someone on Twitter tweets it, retweets it. It shows up in my feed. Hey, how do I, how do I move my messages from, from Apple to Android? And I'm like, I don't know. 
I, I don't know what to tell you. What I do know is there's tons of ways, tons of ways to move your messages from Android to Apple. Easy peasy. Why, why do they want my messages? Because they don't want me to leave. They want to keep me locked in. Now you might thinking, if I go to Android, I won't have my iMessages. I can't go on the internet on my computer. I got to touch my phone. That's so inconvenient. I'm not used to these inconveniences. I'm an Apple user. I'm used to convenience, but super easy. I use the Android native messages app, which is basically Google's text messaging app. And you click on the little button that says messages for the web. Takes you to this. It shows here my last activity and all of the other web devices that I'm logged into. At any point, I can click on it, click the little X, and I can sign out, which means that session I just eliminated on whatever device I logged in on. What does that mean? That means if I'm at work and I got to jump on someone else's workstation for the day, I can pull up the little settings, scan the QR code, and I can have my text messages on that computer no matter what. And when I'm done, I can either sign out on the web or if I forget to sign out, I can sign out through my phone. So it's easy peasy. So am I really missing anything? I feel I'm missing some of the rich enhanced user experience that iMessage brings us. iMessage has now been around for about eight years now where messages for the web, I think came out one and a half, maybe two years ago. So they're stepping it up. They are bringing some new features. So give them a chance to catch up. But the question is, why do we use iMessage as a society? when there are other apps out there that are just as featured enhanced as iMessage. Like what's up app, right? It's huge everywhere except here in the US. You've got end-to-end -end user encryption. No one is stealing and storing your data or reading your messages or any of that other rigmarole data privacy stuff. There's so many other ways for us to communicate with each other. Apple makes up for only 20% of the current market share when you're comparing mobile platforms. The rest is like Android. And then there's a little smidge of some other little guys out there that barely exist. <sighs> iPhone users, do not let Apple lock you in to an ecosystem solely for iMessages. If you are not using any other Apple products, because I know they're expensive, I want you to know you have options. You can go to Android. You can use messages for the web. You can use the WhatsApp app and message people back and forth. You can get your friends together on other communication things. I know groups of people where they, they only talk through Facebook Messenger. That's cool too. You know, Facebook Messenger even lets you text message people back and forth on Android. So there's other options. There's other things to do. I just don't want you to think that if you're an Apple user, you are stuck with iMessages because there's other options out there for you. You can leave. You can switch. You don't have to be so constrained. Apple wants to keep you and they use iMessages as a way to hold you hostage. Now, if you can agree with that statement, go down to the comments, leave me a comment and say, hey Aaron, I think you're absolutely right. I haven't left Apple, mainly because I don't wanna lose iMessages. If you're one of those people, which I have been over the years, I wanna hear from you. I wanna know if you're still with Apple because of iMessage, or if iMessage is just one of those enhanced services or features that keeps you connected into the ecosystem system. At any rate, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you heard, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you heard, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you really like what you heard, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, share my content with your friends and family on social media. And until next time, for the love of tech, namaste.